Hey everyone, Jason here, Digital Marketing Consultant, and in this traffic guide for beginners, you're gonna learn about the top five best traffic sources to leverage as a beginner, and when you stick around to the end, I'll be sharing with you my personal traffic plan for each one of these traffic sources based upon your business. So make sure you check out the timestamp table of contents in the description to skip around along with other playlists to help you dive into each one of these traffic sources so you can get your ads up and running as quickly as possible. Now, as we dive into these five traffic sources, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google ads, and YouTube ads, there are three big mistakes I see a lot of new advertisers making. So we're going to go through these relatively quickly so that you're set up for success when we start talking about the big five. Now, the first big mistake is counting on advertising to work when you're just launching your business. This is something that I see a lot in the comment section as well as with previous clients where they needed a campaign to work or they needed a traffic source to work. That is a terrible place to go. And if you need a traffic source or you need a marketing plan that's actually going to work for you, this actually leads me into the second big mistake and that is not having an organic content plan before diving into creating any sort of paid advertising campaigns. Look, when it comes to your digital marketing, your digital advertising, having a content strategy is a must. It's not optional anymore. Content comes first, then paid advertising, not the other way around. When you flip that equation and you need paid ads to work before you start putting in all of the long hours it takes to have a successful organic content plan, you're setting yourself up for failure. And this is because you have to understand the difference between cold traffic and warm traffic, which is the third big mistake that a lot of new advertisers make. Look, the days of just putting together an advertising campaign, putting up your e-commerce store or putting together a landing page and then driving some cold traffic to it and watching money pop out the other end is over. Is it still possible to do? Yes, but it takes time. It takes iteration. You have to test your targeting. You have to test your messaging. You have to test your offers. All three of those variables have to be tested over and over and over again until you find the right combination. You're not going to find the right combination out of the gate. You need a content strategy to take people who are cold and turn them into warm. And then and only then is your advertising really going to take off and work because you'll be driving sales to people who are already aware of your brand. If you're just doing cold traffic to an offer, that's just straight sales. There's no marketing, there's no branding in that, and it's a recipe for disaster. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the first traffic source that's great for beginners, and that is Facebook. Remember, at the end, I'll be sharing with you a personal traffic plan based upon your type of business. Now, when it comes to Facebook, the key variable of success is your messaging and your ad creative. So if you're looking at Facebook or you've tried Facebook in the past and it's not working and you're wondering, is it Facebook? Is it me? It's you because Facebook really does work. The problem with Facebook is it's really easy. So there are a lot of people in there trying to get Facebook to work for them and their business. What's great about Facebook is it is easy, right? It's the simplest advertising platform to use on this list. And as long as you have the budget, really the key to success with Facebook is just number of occurrences, constantly trying new ad copy, trying new ad creative, and eventually you'll get a hit, you'll get something that clicks with your audience and your ideal customer, and then you're off to the races. But it does require you to actually be creative. So if you're not a creative person, or you're more of a analytics and data type person, then stick around for number four when I talk about Google ads. Now, the next one on this list is Instagram. And Instagram is this nice blend of what Facebook is and what Facebook used to be. One of the great opportunities on Instagram as a new advertiser is it's not exactly an established and proven platform yet. So it's actually run off the same platform as Facebook ads because Facebook owns Instagram. And so you're going to get that kind of nice, easy to use interface when it comes to setting up your ads, setting up your targeting. But when it comes to the cost, the cost is going to be significantly less, especially if you're doing Instagram story ads. And this is simply because most marketers and business owners are still trying to figure out the Instagram game. So when something's still relatively new or relatively unused, it's a massive opportunity to you as a beginner because chances are you don't have a huge marketing budget, but you do have some time. And so if you have some time and you're ready to get creative, again, Instagram and Facebook is all about creative. There's not a whole lot of competitive advantage out of trying to be slicker or better with your targeting. It really is creative. So if you have that 
time and you have that energy and you enjoy being creative, then Instagram, specifically stories, is going to be a massive opportunity for you as a beginner. And it's great because the costs are lower. So you're going to find that that small shoestring budget goes a lot further. Now, another platform that's relatively new and unproven is Pinterest. And I almost didn't include it on this list. So let me just start by saying, unless you're already on Pinterest, don't bother with it as a beginner because while costs are very cheap, extremely low, your KPIs in terms of awareness and engagement and cost per click is going to look fantastic until you take a look at what happens when people actually hit your website. And this is something that we've learned painfully with a couple of clients. And that is while the costs are very low on Pinterest, users of Pinterest are still not being used to ship being shipped off to another website via an ad. And so what we found is the bounce rates were crazy high. What this essentially means is someone would look at our ad, they'd click on it, they'd go to our client's website. And as soon as they realized they were be take, being taken off Pinterest, they bounced right back to Pinterest. So even though the costs were super low, we got this amazing reach and we got all these clicks, everyone who was clicking didn't actually want to come to our website. So they bounced off and this happened with multiple accounts, multiple clients. So unless you're already on Pinterest and you're finding a lot of success with your organic strategies, then it's not worth your time as a beginner. Now, another platform that might not be worth your time as a beginner, and this is going to be 100% based upon your budget and your type of business. If you're a local business, this is probably going to be the one for you. That is number four, Google Ads. So Google Ads is the oldie and goodie, right? It's proven, it works, you get to target people based upon when they're actually looking for your product and service using keywords in Google search, or you can be a little more broad and use the display network, which is something that I don't recommend for beginners. So I'm not even going to talk about it in this particular traffic guide. And when it comes to Google ads, the interface is significantly harder to learn and understand than Facebook. Facebook just has done a tremendous job when it comes to ease of use. But what's very nice about Google ads is you can be extremely targeted with exactly who you want to talk to and when you want to talk to them. So for example, let's talk about a lawyer, right? So what's great with Google ads is a lawyer can go on there and they can put in the exact type of law or the exact type of legal services that someone might be looking for in their geographical area. And then bang, they only show up and they only pay when someone who is looking actively looking for the service around their law, law office types into Google. Great. Well, the problem is you're going to pay. You're going to pay a hefty premium for being able to target someone when they are in the right place to actually buy a product or service from you. And that is because everybody else has figured out Google ads works really well. So the advantage is it's going to work very well. The big disadvantage is it's extremely expensive, especially in the case of lawyers. You can find keywords that cost upwards of two or $300 just for a click. And this also leads into the other big downside of Google ads as a small entrepreneur or small local business. And that is you're competing with a lot of alternatives. For example, the lawyer is going to be competing with things like LegalZoom and rocketlawyer.com, even though they might not be direct competitors, those types of bigger businesses that have the scale will just bid on keywords across the entire board and market and industry driving costs very, very high. So if you're an analytical person, Google ads is the best one for you on this list. If you have any ounce of creativity, definitely look someplace else because Google ads is just so expensive. Now, speaking of Google ads, number five is my personal favorite. So I'm going to be a little biased here and that is YouTube ads. Now, similar to how Facebook and Instagram work, where Instagram is run off the Facebook advertising platform, YouTube ads is run off of the Google advertising platform. So again, similar to Instagram, you have the advantage of using a advertising platform that is relatively built out the bells and whistle, all the bells and whistles work. You know, there's not kind of working out the kinks like you'd feel trying to set up a Pinterest ad campaign. But at the same time, you have the creative freedom to play with your ad creative and messaging because YouTube ads is still kind of a wild, wild west. 
And out of all of these, I would say Pinterest is the most Wild West, then we go YouTube, then we go Instagram, then we go Facebook, and then we go Google. So in terms of opportunity, YouTube ads, I think, has the greatest opportunity on this list because you get to use the Google ads platform, which gives you all of the same granular targeting as you would with Google search ads without the super high cost. Of course, the big barrier to entry is you have to make videos, right? That's the only way YouTube ads are really gonna perform and really going to work for you. So it's a blessing and a curse. If you're on a shoestring budget, but you're willing to get in front of the camera or you're willing to produce some videos, even if it's just screen capture or use something like Powtoon and just make some silly animations, YouTube ads is a massive opportunity because you can still get views for just a couple cents and you can actually get opt-ins or sales for five to ten dollars per conversion so it definitely has potential but there's that huge barrier to entry of actually making the video right and then you have to make multiple videos because you have to test a lot so that does it for the big five now if you got some value out of this video and you're still watching go ahead and hit that like button now it's time for my personal recommendations for where to start based upon the type of business you have. So first we're going to start with e-commerce. So if you're doing any sort of e-commerce, you're going to be looking at Instagram ads, then Google shopping ads, and then Facebook. So the reason that we're in this order is number one, with Instagram story ads, they're very inexpensive. And because you have an e-commerce product, you have a tremendous amount of flexibility in terms of your creative, right? You have your product. And so it's very easy to take your product and create multiple different styles of images or GIFs or animations, whatever you want to do and test them with Instagram stories because Instagram stories is significantly cheaper than the other placements across Facebook and Instagram. The next best place to go for as an e-commerce store owner is Google Shopping Ads. They're easy to set up and you can directly integrate them into your merchant center, whether you're using WooCommerce or Shopify. So the ads are easy to set up because you're just setting up an integration and then all of your products are automatically going to be able to put up, be put on Google. And for just five to $10 a day, after a month or two, you're going to get some really good data and then you can kind of dive down the Google ads rabbit hole. But it's something that's very easy to set up and you're ensuring that you're only paying for people who are actively looking for your specific products. And then finally, we have Facebook because Facebook is one that's going to take you a really long time to figure out and master, but in the long run, it offers you the best ROI. Now, the next one we have is a local service. So this is a business that's serving a local community, a local area around their brick and mortar store. First, we have Instagram, then we have Facebook, and then we have Google Search. Now, Google Search is going to be your best bet if you have a big budget, like let's say $750 to at least $1,500 a month. But if you don't, then trying Instagram or Facebook, getting creative with your ads and targeting just your particular neighborhood or city is a great way to go for your local business. Now, if you have an information product like a course or an ebook, definitely YouTube and Facebook. I say YouTube first because if you're selling an information product, all of the other gurus or online course platforms are really going hard on Instagram and Facebook already. So you're going to face a lot of competition. Whereas YouTube, you have a good amount of opportunity. And once you get your ad messaging down on YouTube, you can more safely go over to Facebook and try advertising there. Once you already know that your landing pages, sales pages and messaging works, and you can take the videos that are successful on YouTube and try them on Facebook video where your competition is going to be a lot lower. Whereas if you try to just go straight Facebook and do posts, you're going to find that your cost per conversion is going to be very high and pretty much out of reach in terms of reaching profitability. Now, the last one we have is consulting or services or agency. And here again, I'm going to recommend YouTube, but actually if you're on a real tight budget, starting with Facebook groups, I personally don't use this strategy, but I do see a lot of new freelancers and solopreneurs and consultants interacting and engaging in Facebook groups that are relevant to their niche and connecting with people one-on-one -on -one and actually getting clients out of that. So even though it's not paid, Facebook organic group posts seem to be doing really well for those types of businesses and freelancers. But if you want to get started with a paid traffic platform, YouTube is the best as a freelancer or consultant solopreneur because you're on a very tight budget and you need a very fast way to build awareness and build a relationship 
relationship. And the quickest way to do that, awareness and relationship in one fell swoop, is with video and YouTube is still the king of video when it comes to advertising like that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found those action plans helpful and informative. If you have any questions about your specific business or any of these advertising platforms, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below. I read and reply to every single one. And if you're still watching, hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth strategies and walkthroughs just like this video, helping you be successful with your digital marketing and of course, growing your business. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions, and as always, keep building the business you love.